There's been a lot of videos circulating around Gemini 3 and how powerful of a tool it actually is. But today I wanted to show you certain things that I've never really seen other people talk about and that I've personally found very useful. Let me show you what I mean. So if you go to gemini.google.com, you should be able to access the Gemini app. And as you can see here on the top that it's asking me to upgrade, which indicates that if this is actually the free plan. And what I wanted to show you today was how I prompted Gemini to be able to create an interactive diagram on how the human heart works. Now you can use this for any complex topics that you want to learn. Let's say how a car engine works or how cars work in general. Uh, but I just wanted to show you an example of how the human heart works through what Gemini was able to produce for me. So I prompted it here uh, before and I just said, show me the structure of a human heart and make the labels interactive. So when I click on them, I can get more information. And what it produced for me was this diagram here. I think this is really neat where it actually shows you the diagram of a human heart. But more importantly, it did what I asked it to do by creating these interactive labels on the components of a human heart. And when I click on these labels, it gives me more information on what uh, the component of the heart does or the part of this heart does. And I thought this was really useful, especially if you're learning or studying how uh, components work. Instead of reading through textbooks, you can ask Gemini to create an interactive diagram like this and be able to see where the components lie and what each component's functions are. And the best part of it is, is that I was able to produce this on the free version of Gemini. Now, the next thing that I wanted to show you was specifically a feature that's available on the paid plans for Gemini. Now, on a personal note, recently I've been trying to help my parents shop for a used vehicle that they were interested in. And there are so many listings and so many different types of trims and colors and prices uh, and how many mileage that the used car have that I was manually going through. So as I was shopping through them, I wanted to make a list on Google Sheets like this. And so I, I actually typed in and I made these column headers here and uh, typed in the model and the year, uh, how much they were selling for, how much mileage that it had and so forth. And then I went through each listing on different websites and I found the model and the year and the price that it had and the mileage just to help me organize this information. Up to this dark line here uh, that I've found maybe about 17 different listings, that probably took me hours of, of my time to be able to go through each listing and see what the best deals were, and then for me to uh, write them down and summarize them in a Google Sheet like this. And then I realized this task was really redundant and repetitive, and probably that AI could probably do this quicker and better. So what I did was I uh, called up Gemini here, and on the pre-plan, you should have this ability to be able to call up Gemini within your Google Suites. So if I click on that Gemini icon, you actually have uh, Gemini, you actually are able to, uh, to prompt and talk to Gemini as you're working in the sheet. And you're able to collaborate with Gemini and have it work with you in the document that you are working on. So what I asked Gemini to do for me is to go searching for uh, used car websites and find me the best five deals for this particular car and year and make. And what it did, you'll see below on uh, below this dark black line here, it actually searched up and found a bunch of listings from uh, three or four different used car websites and gave and filled it in exactly the way I filled in the first 18 rows. So it was able to actually populate the information exactly the way I wrote it and just continued on filling them in with what they found in their own search. So just as an example, I'll show you here in row nine, this row I manually found or this listing I manually found, it was a 2024 all wheel drive and the price was this and the mileage was this much and the cost to kilometer ratio was $4.01 uh, and the color was black. So when I looked to see if Gemini could find or did find the same listing, I noticed that it did. It managed to find the same listing here. You'll notice that the ratios are the same, the price is the same, and that it actually populated it exactly the way I wrote it, but it went and found it on its own. So I checked a few more and see if I was able to find some of the best deals that I was able to manually find, which took me hours, by the way. And this one here uh, was 
399 as the cost to kilometer ratio. And I'm just gonna go see if, I, if they can find it. And here it is. Gemini was able to find the exact same listing and be able to populate the exact same way that I populated the way I did things manually. But let me tell you, this took seconds for it to go through several websites and find me the best deals. And not only that, it was able to find me even more cars that were listed that were just as good, if not better deals that I was able to find manually. So it was able to find the same deals that I found or the same listings that I found, and it added uh, even more listings that I didn't even have to go and find. In addition to that, I was able to simply prompt Gemini within the workbook or within the spreadsheet here to be able to come up with formulas. So naturally my parents were asking, how much does it cost per month for these particular vehicles? And I didn't know how to calculate how much the monthly plan would be or the monthly payment would work out to depending on the information. So in another tab, I prompted Gemini to come up with a monthly payment calculator, which it actually did over here. And I was just playing around with some numbers and it was able to accurately tell me how much the monthly cost would be depending on the price of a car and down payment and so forth. And what's really useful that I found was that I wanted to be able to, to put all of these prices or all of the monthly payments uh, with respect to the price of each of these cars. And before I would have maybe done it manually, typed it in and manually typed it in. And I've also heard that there are probably fancy formulas that you could have used, but I personally don't know what those formulas are and how to use them. So I prompted Gemini to say, populate all of the monthly payments in column E with using the prices of each price in column B and to be able to populate uh, the monthly payments as such. And it was able to take these numbers of the cost of the, uh, the car, run it through this formula that it gave me in sheet three and repopulate it all in column E in sheet one. And so depending on the price of the car, it was able to tell me how much the monthly payment would come out to. So you can see, let's, for example, this first car here is about $400 a month. If I were to change in sheet three, let's say the interest rate to something like, let's say 5%, it automatically changes what the monthly payment cost would be to $405 because uh, the interest rate changed. So all of these numbers in this column automatically changes based on the formula that I got from Gemini, which I think is very, very useful and didn't have to come up with my own formula. And uh, Gemini was able to do that for me within seconds. You can use Gemini for any of the Google Suite applications like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google PowerPoint, you name it. So if you have a paid uh, Gemini subscription, you're able to integrate the use of Gemini straight into your documents and collaborate with Gemini as you see fit, which I think is really, really helpful. And speaking of Gemini integrations, Gemini is actually now integrated into your Chrome browser. Now, mind you, this is only for US users and I'm situated in Canada, so I, I wasn't able to actually experiment with this, but Gemini on Gemini's website, it actually advertises that uh, we have Gemini in Chrome now. So if I scroll down here, it seems as though right in the Chrome browser, the Gemini uh, integration should appear right in the toolbar at the top. And of course, because I'm in Canada, I'm unable to see this feature. But for those of you who are in the US, this is something that you might want to keep an eye out for, because I can imagine how useful of a tool it would be if Gemini was just built straight into your Chrome browser, so that not only would you be able, would you be able to use Gemini with your Google Suites, but with anything that you use or search up using Google Chrome. So for those of you who are in the States, please try this and let me know how useful the, the integration in Google Chrome really is. If you're a visual learner, like I mentioned earlier, and you like to learn through interactivity, I want to introduce you to our sponsor today, Brilliant. On Brilliant, you'll be able to understand concepts that you used to once struggle with. What I really like about Brilliant is that it's designed to be highly effective. You learn through active problem solving, a method that research has shown to be far more powerful than watching lectures or videos. It has a perfect mix of interactive problems, motivating challenges, and encouragement to keep you moving forward. Brilliant personalizes learning for you. It starts you at the right level based on your background, designs practice sets and reviews personalized for you, and helps you advance at your ideal pace. 
Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Caltech, Google, and more. To learn for free on Brilliant for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org slash philipm, or you can use the QR code on the screen, or you can use the link in the description below. Brilliant has also given my viewers 20% off the annual premium subscription cost that gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Thank you, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. These are some examples that I shared with you today that I found personally useful for me. And I'm very curious to know what other people are using Google integrations for, especially around Google Docs or Google PowerPoint and around Google Chrome. For those of you in the US, please let me know how that's used and what, what kind of uh, use cases that you can come up with. I'm just waiting for the day that it's released here in Canada. I hope you found this video useful. And as always, I thank you very much for spending the time with me today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.